everybody to the weekly news once again here from touringplanes.com on our YouTube channel. I know I say this all the time, but please browse around the YouTube channel. We've got lots of great stuff. We put up videos like three, four, sometimes five times a week. Lots and lots of stuff, whatever you want, theme park related. First up, big news out of the Disneyland Resort in California, and that is a new hotel. Well, eventually. Not till 2021 is this thing going to open, but this is going to be a brand new hotel right near the Disneyland Hotel. Here is the concept drawing of it. It is supposed to be a four diamond hotel. What you are looking at here is the Disneyland Hotel at the top of the picture of those couple buildings, and then spreading out below it is the new hotel that I don't think there's been a name for. They just keep calling it a Four Diamond Hotel. And then there's a big courtyard. This kind of spreads into downtown Disney. So it is seemingly going to eliminate things like the ESPN Club and Rainforest Cafe, although it does say the new hotel will have dining and shopping on the ground floor, so it seems like there will still be restaurants and things for the public, but it will take a chunk out of downtown Disney. Again, we've got like four more years to wait for that, so I guess we'll find out a lot between now and then. Switching coasts back over to Florida. This is a quick one. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is starting soon, next week in fact, November 9th, and that first party is sold out. A little bit surprising, the first party hasn't actually sold out in a few years. If you want to hear me talk more about which parties are the most popular, right below this video I have a link to another video I did where I stick things on a calendar and tell you all about Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, and which ones are the busiest. Luckily, I didn't say the first one was going to be one of the least crowded. I'm a little surprised, though, that it's sold out. And if you want to see what a sold-out party looks like, I will be there for the first party. So anybody watching this that wants to say hi, come find me. I will be wearing a maroon touring plan shirt and carrying a camera around and pointing it at my face. And I will be putting that up Friday, November 10th. I will be putting up some sort of video all about Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party for 2017, and you'll be able to see what the crowds look like at both parades, at the fireworks, all that stuff, if you are curious. Speaking of Christmas time festivities at the Magic Kingdom, the Jingle Cruise will be returning November 2nd, which is tomorrow. Now, the Jingle Cruise is a version of the Jungle Cruise in Adventureland in the Magic Kingdom, where most of the jokes are now Christmas-themed, and they put some hats on things and whatever. Here is a look at what it looked like a couple of years ago. Hey, would you look at that? My in-laws arrived. They actually made it to Asia on the Mekong River. That's frost. Be careful, frostbites. Without a visit to Trader Santa, he is our head salesman of the jungle. You know, and uh, right now business has been shrinking. So he's got a deal that's head and shoulders above the rest of the competition. Two of his heads and a partridge and a pear tree. Over in Epcot, Innoventions is actually getting something new into it, which is unusual. The Spectacular will be opening sometime in November, which is this month now, and it is a show with real scientists where they prove scientific principles using guests to test them out. Uh, not really a lot of details on it, but it sounds better than what's in Interventions now, which is mostly nothing. So last thing this week, we've got some new dining news at Disney Springs. The Edison, which is still supposed to be opening in fall 2017, right near the characters in flight balloon there at the landing, formerly Pleasure Island. The same building that the Edison is in, the same group that owns it, is also opening a triumvirate of Italian-style places. One, Maria and Enzo's will be an Italian restaurant. Then we have Enzo's Hideaway, which is a speakeasy-type bar. And then Pizza Ponte, which is a fast-casual pizza place. All of these should open sometime over the winter. No real dates. Heck, we don't even have a date for the Edison, and that's supposed to be fall, which... You know, and that's it this week. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like or a comment, or best yet, subscribe to Touring Plans so you can see all of our videos. Thank you for watching. Be excellent to each other.